Good morning. Welcome to St. Mary's Church and Shrine for the Wednesday of the second week of Easter. Let us begin with the two verses of The Strife is Over. Alleluia, Alleluia, Alleluia. The strife is o'er, the battle done. Now is the victor's triumph won. Oh, let the song of praise be sung. Alleluia, 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 Alleluia. On the third morn he rose again, glorious in majesty he reigned. Oh, let us swell the joy. Hallelujah. Let us pray in the name of the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. The Lord is with you. As we come in this Easter day, let us pause and call to mind our sins. Lord, you have loved us so much that you walked amongst us and forgave us. Lord, have mercy. You sacrifice yourself for us, Christ, have mercy. You open the gates to eternal life. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Almighty God, have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Let us pray. As we recall year by year the mysteries by which, through the restoration of its original dignity, human nature has received the hope of rising again, we earnestly beseech your mercy, Lord, that what we celebrate in faith we may possess an unending love to our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God forever and ever. Amen. A reading from the Acts of the Apostles. The high priest rose, and all his companions, that is, the party of the Sadducees, filled with jealousy, laid hands upon the apostles and put them in the public jail. But during the night, the angel of the Lord opened the doors of the prison and led them out and said, Go, take your place in the temple area and tell the people everything about this life. When they heard this, they went to the temple early in the morning and taught. When the high priest and their companions arrived, they convened the Sanhedrin, the full senate of the children of Israel. And they sent to the jail to have them brought in. But the court officers who went did not find them in prison. So they came back and reported, We found the jail securely locked and the guards stationed outside the doors. But when we opened them, we found no one inside. When the captain of the temple guard and the chief priest heard this report, they were at a loss at what had happened as to what would, as, and as to what was to come. Then someone came in and reported to them, the men whom you put in prison are in the temple area and are teaching the people. Then the captain and the court officers went and brought them, but without force, because they were afraid of being stoned by the people. The word of the Lord. The Lord hears the cry of the poor. I will bless the Lord at all times. His praise shall be ever in my mouth. Let my soul glory in the Lord, and, lowly, and the lowly will hear me and be glad. The Lord hears the cry of the poor. Glorify the Lord with me. Let us together extol his name. I sought the Lord, and he answered me, and delivered me from all my fears. The Lord hears the cry of the poor. Look to him that you may be radiant with joy, and your faces may not blush with shame. 
When the poor one called out, the Lord heard, and from all his distress he saved him. The Lord hears the cry of the poor. The angel of the Lord encamps around those who fear him and delivers them. Taste and see how good the Lord is. Blessed the man who takes refuge in him. The Lord hears the cry of the poor. God so loved the world that he gave us his only begotten Son, so that everyone who believes in him might have eternal life. Alleluia, alleluia, alleluia. The Lord is with you. The reading of the Holy Gospel according to John. God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten Son, so that everyone who believes in him might not perish, but might have eternal life. For God did not send his Son into the world to condemn the world, but that the world might be saved through him. Whoever believes in him will not be condemned. Whoever does not believe has already been condemned, because he has not believed in the name of the only begotten Son of God. And this is the verdict, that the light came into the world, but people preferred darkness to light because their works were evil. For everyone who does wicked things hates the light and does not come toward the light, so that his works may not be exposed. Whoever lives the truth comes to the light, so that his works may be seen clearly as done in God. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. You may be seated. Indeed, God so loved the world <clears> that <throat> he gave his only begotten Son. How does this love of God you know, relate to us? First, God gives of freely of himself without any reservation. He gives us the divine Son who comes and walks in our humanity, in our flesh and blood. And that Son you know, doesn't love begrudgingly. He loves all openly and freely so that they can experience God's mercy and God's constant forgiveness, because God's love holds nothing back. So that everyone who believes, you know, God loves without restriction. He's opened the doors of his heart to all who would hopefully come to belief, who would want to come to life, so that they can experience, you know, the fullness of his love. He makes no exceptions, but pours out his love on each person. I see that as difficult to believe in these days, but if we let that love wash over us in our isolation, it can help us, save us from perishing. He does not give us that which we deserve, but he gives us the fullness of his life and love that we might have that promise of eternal life in God. Eternal life that calls us to give praise and glory as we continue in the days ahead. Let us revel in that love let that love sustain us in all our need. So we offer our prayers and intentions of today. We pray at the church, we boldly proclaim the salvation offered in Christ, we pray to the Lord. Lord hear that the baptized may embrace the true light in their lives of discipleship, we pray to the Lord. Lord for all those suffering from COVID-19 and for those isolated from their families, we pray to the Lord. Lord hear for all health care workers and first responders, we pray to the Lord. Lord hear for patience for all those who you know, urge us to get back to our normal lives, we pray to the Lord. Lord hear for the soul of Margaret Walls will be buried today from this church, we pray to the Lord. Let us add all our prayer.
God of glory, your sun shines as a beacon for, of your love for the world. Bless us who find salvation in his death and resurrection. May we always recognize his glory in the weak, suffering, condemned of the world. We ask this through Christ, crucified and exalted, who lives and reigns forever and ever. Lord God of all creation, through goodness of these gifts of bread and wine, you offer fruit of the vine, work in the hands of them, become our spiritual food and drink. So pray, brothers and sisters, that my sacrifice and yours be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. O God, who by wonderful exchange effected in this sacrifice have made us partakers of the one supreme Godhead, grant, we pray, that as we have come to know your truth, may you make it ours by a worthy way of life through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And Lift up your hearts. Lift Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, at all times to acclaim you, O Lord, but in this time of all, to laud you more gloriously when Christ over our Passover has been sacrificed. He never ceases to offer himself for us, but defends us and ever pleads our cause before you. He is the sacrificial victim who dies no more, the lamb once slain who lives forever. Therefore, overcome with paschal joy, every land, every people exalts in your praise. Even the heavenly powers of the angelic hosts sing together in any hymn of your glory as they acclaim, Holy, Holy. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the font of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts, we pray, by sending down your Spirit upon them like the dewfall, so they become for us the body and blood of your Son, our Lord Jesus the Christ. In the time was betrayed, and willingly into his passion, he took bread, and giving thanks, broke it, and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. Similar way in supper was ended, he took the chalice. Once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it. For this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, to put out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sin. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. Save us, Savior of the world. By you. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and life-giving resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation. Giving thanks, you have held us worthy, being your presence and minister to you. Humbly, we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, you be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her the fullness of charity, together with Francis, our Pope, and Wilton, our Bishop, and all your holy people. Remember Margaret Walls and all of our family and our friends of died in the hope of your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. And have mercy on all of us, we pray, Lord, that with the blessed Virgin Mary, the mother of God, and blessed Joseph, her spouse, and all the apostles and saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life, and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. For it is through him and with him and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Pray as Jesus commands us. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not to temptation, but deliver us from evil. 
Hear us, Lord, we pray for every evil and graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy we be free from sin and safe from distress as we wait the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. Peace of the risen Lord be with you always. Lamb of God. Behold the Lamb of God. Behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed is the call of the supper of the Lamb. Lord, always be the word. The body and blood of Jesus keep us safe for eternal life. We pray for Mary's intercession for all nurses and doctors and first responders as we say, Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Let us pray. Graciously, you present to your people, we pray, O Lord. And lead those you have imbued with heaven the mysteries to pass from former ways to newness of life through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. May Almighty God bless us, Father, Son, and Holy Spirit. Amen. The Mass is in go in peace. Alleluia, alleluia.